When it's created, it's not something just store-bought. There's a lot of love and there's a lot of tradition and there's a lot of memories all built and rolled into this little appetizer, essentially. So when I first started making it, my grandma needed help rolling them, actually. And she was like, here, let me show you. And I just started making them ever since then. So I was maybe 11, 12 years old. So the pork recipe that I made um, came from, really it's kind of a combination of what I learned from my grandparents, which they took from the Philippines. And I wanted to try my own take on it. And I Googled a recipe actually for pork and just integrated that with the beef recipe. So it's soy sauce, vinegar, pork, water chestnut, carrots, and a bunch of different spices. My lumpia recipe is honestly a combination of me and my sister um, came up with it together and with Google. We went to a farmer's market and they had like an egg roll lumpia stand and we just fell in love with them. She's like, oh my God, we could totally make these. You know, growing up in a, in a adopted, I didn't know anything really about any type of Asian cuisine. And as I got older, it's stuff that I wanted to know more about my, my culture, all the different foods and I love all types of Asian foods, not just Korean. So when it comes to my lumpia, uh, the recipe comes straight from my grandma. My grandma was born in the Philippines. So it's just beef, carrots, mushrooms, celery, um, and then you just roll it up in the lumpia wrapper and, and fry it. It was my favorite thing growing up, that and like adobo and ponset. Uh, that, was, that was one of the first things that I learned how to cook. So sharing it with the office was a lot of fun. For all the recipes really, it's mostly from my mom. The recipe that we did for these lumpias was kind of a, a gauge. <laughs> so it's mostly just the protein and then vegetables and then we kind of decide what seasoning. So I mean like the beef one was like soy sauce and garlic and then the chicken was more of a sesame and the vegetarian was like a ginger and sesame where obviously like the banana one was just sugar. Both of my parents are from Guam. We're all from Guam. Uh, so that is just like a staple traditional kind of food. Anytime there's a family dinner, a family gathering. With Atlas, I mean, we are a diverse group of people. And, and to have that opportunity for people from the Asian culture, the Filipinos, the Chamorro Guam, and then be able to bring that and share our heritage and our recipes and kind of something that's near and dear. It brings the family home into the family workplace. To be able to share that with the Atlas family was really kind of the meat and potatoes of it all, of the four of us being able to do that.